and welcome to the second episode of Domain Crawler live stream. My name is Volodymyr Holovash. I'm Chief Marketing Officer at Domain Crawler. And today we are going to talk about domains and data. Uh, so using data is a hot topic uh, right now among industry professionals. And there is a lot of content out there. Uh, there are many events on this topic. But it seems uh, that there is a need to process all that information in a somewhat casual way. And this is basically the idea behind the live stream we are having right now. Uh, we want to talk about this complex topic in a, in a simple way. Uh, and uh, we also want to engage you who are uh, watching us, uh, watching uh, this conversation right now. So uh, hello. Uh, welcome. Uh, please join us on Facebook, on LinkedIn. We are streaming on Twitter as well. If you're watching us uh, on e either of these platforms, uh, please feel free to comment, uh, leave your uh, comments, share your thoughts, ask questions. If we are, if we can, we can, um, uh, we we will answer them. So joining me today, Chief Marketing, uh, Chief Commercial Officer at Demand Crawler, Alona Borzemska. So Alona, thanks for joining me today. I know that you're a very busy person. You're in and out of meetings. Uh, I know yeah. that. And yeah. No, but like, uh, thank you uh, um, for, for asking me to join this chat. I know that like for each of the sessions you have your separate guests and uh, I'm happy to join this one. And <clears throat> I can't say that it was a surprise for me because uh, I know that you've been working on this, but um, yeah, really happy to join this. And I think that is like a really cool idea to have these short, though interesting, interactive live sessions. Uh, and uh, I think that is really great in general to have this kind of thought leadership where they, like we and other companies in the industry uh, and out of this industry do the webinars. And we did the webinars before. And I know that like it's, it can be very stressful for for those people who are hosting the, the, the event and it is a bit a little bit of the time consuming. So really happy that we have this the chat today because the idea is to keep to keep it less formal but still yeah. informative. Right. Right. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah, that that is correct. And uh, we have uh, several ideas about our future webinars, so they are in the making. Well, and yeah, uh, I, I will. Uh, share uh, about this a little bit later, maybe okay. this week, maybe maybe next week, but uh, I will do that. So um, I want to start uh, speaking about uh, your experience a little bit. So uh, mm -hmm. I don't think, uh, so one thing I think people should know about you, and of course we're working together and I know this, that you're, uh, it, you're a very focused and dedicated person. And I don't think that it's an Thank exaggeration you. to say that you're already well known among uh, industry professionals, even though it has only been, what, two years uh, since you started first at uh, Domain Crawler. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about your experience. How have uh, your perception of data uh, or your perspe uh, per perspective on data and the industry as a whole changed over this uh, time, over the period you've been working with Domain Crawler. Okay, Th thank you for the kind words. That's uh, it means a lot, uh, and I really appreciate them. Thank you very much for for that. Um, so yeah, I think um, so. I joined Domain Crawler three years ago, and um, I, I guess like in general, it's too little time to judge in general like what's changed uh, in the industry on the big scale. Um, and however, it's obvious that data is becoming a hot topic in many different conversations. Yeah. Um, like what we have all, I think, noticed that the domain industry keeps on growing and it proves to be um, innovative and it proves to be vibrant at the same time. And the data still is, and I think it will keep on being the leading driver of the business success. And by seeing what we do, by being a part of what we do, we see, <clears throat> I'm seeing a, like amazing value of placing the industry uh, players on, at the pulse on what's going on with their customers and with their customers' uh, domain use. 
because uh, it enables them to grow, to uh, close revenue gaps within the zone zones and just compare um, with peers. Yeah. Also, like for the last three years, I guess, uh, we've noticed that registries and consolidations of many other registrars, it's becoming more and more commercial and marketing focused, meaning that business intelligence and like data analysis is as important as it, it has never been before. And yeah. that will only grow, I think, with, uh, with the coming years. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, I remember my experience uh, when I first started uh, uh -huh. like in, in the man, uh, crawler and uh, I was just blown away with the with the things you can do with the domain data like yeah. when you slice and dice it properly when you structure it uh, and it was more more about brand protection purposes but I, I was really blown away with the uh, with the way how well basically you show me the presentations and the the uh, like abilities of the uh, domain crawler in this yeah. instance uh, with the HTML data and with different keywords and how you can structure them and how can you spot infringement and fraud uh, with, exactly. the, with the help of that data. That's just amazing. And for, for some, for a newcomer, you know, for a newbie, it's, it looks like a, like just random thing. But mm -hmm. when you know where to look, it's amazing. Exactly. When you know where to look and how to match the dots, and yeah. how to uh, find the pattern, like identify the network of different connected connected things. That is really uh, fascinating. And that is the thing that I really like about the data that having just one and the same data set, the use yeah. cases are so different and yeah. there are so many of them. And also what I wanted to mention that <clears throat> more and more people now are ready to talk about the data and to look into that and 99% of all the companies out there, they understand they need the data and mm -hmm. the majority of them, they also understand what exactly what type of data they need. But we still have those that understand that, okay, we need something around data, but we don't know exactly what we want or where to look. Uh, yeah. But they are still like curious to, to discover, curious to learn. And uh, in this case, I'm always more than happy to show some use cases or to help them, like to share some example, like success stories of our customers mm -hmm. to show them like what can be done and if there is anything they can replicate. Uh, yeah. So that's, yeah. that's great that there is more and more interest in that direction. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we're definitely going to talk a little more about this uh, use cases from what you can share you know, uh, but uh, going back a little bit, you're talking about that more and more um, companies are uh, discovering the importance of data and they are ready to discuss this more and more. So uh, you've been attending quite a lot of industry events uh, lately. And, uh, you know, um, like um, some, some uh, people who are uh, following our um, LinkedIn profile and they see all this announcement and they, they see like, wow, Alona is there. Alona is going there and, and they're amazed about the productivity, you know, like because it's stressful and it's uh, still a lot, of, a lot of work. But what is the most valuable thing about uh, that, about industry events? Uh, could you share some highlights from the latest events that you have attended? Yeah, uh, that is a great question. Uh, I, I love those industry events because uh, uh, we are because all the people that go there we are being connected and we share the same energy of those events uh, and kind of the same values and views on the industry or more or less the same so that is really like uniting if i can say mm -hmm. so and i feel great about those events the recent ones that i've been to is the uh, nordic domain days and the namescon mm -hmm. i know the last week uh, there was uh, I can meeting in DC mm -hmm. uh, we skipped that one um, unfortunately but coming back to the Nordic domain days and namescon I just wanted to state that both of these events were uh, hosted on a very high level mm -hmm. and uh, there were like a few messages uh, that uh, were communicated at that uh, at those events at least a few that I've clearly got one of them is that uh, the domain industry is growing and mm -hmm. it is developing very rapidly in general. And the second one is that 
observation on the retention uh, of the customers, of course, basically covering that if we want to better address the customer needs, we need to follow his uh, journey from the point uh, from the point when he becomes a customer. We need to understand where he's coming from, region, country, technology, other registrar, registry, and stuff like that. To the moment what he's doing with the domain name and up to the moment when he leaves the domain name, for example, mm -hmm. or he redirects or he just mm -hmm. become maybe being a customer. Mm -hmm. So that is like uh, uh, one of very important things and topics that were communicated at those events. And another one is that um, seg segmenting of the customers and targeted marketing campaigns should mm -hmm. be the focus for like for this year and for the for the coming one to have an efficient customer acquisition cost because it mm -hmm. seems like we are already like about to finish to end the Q2 of this year mm -hmm. and it's obvious that this year will be more about the uh, coming back to to basics and but but having the customer centricity as the priority. Mm -hmm. That's like Nordic Domain Days, Namescon, ICANN is three completely different events, but I'm happy mm -hmm. that the topics are uh, overlapping and mm -hmm. uh, communicated it again at a very high level. And I guess yeah. one of the next major events will be the ICANN in Hamburg, hosted by mm -hmm. Dini yep. Knappel this year yeah. in October. So looking forward to that. In October, yes. Yeah, uh, looking forward to that. And it is my understanding that you'll be attending that as well. Yeah, of, of course. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah great. Uh, but uh, can can you elaborate a little bit more about the segmentation part? Uh, wh what do you mean by segmentation of customer base? Um, Basically, yeah. looking into what vertical they belong. Like, if these like the e-commerce customers, mm -hmm. or are there any any other verticals that might? Or like, is they having any kind of the blogs or stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and you can use domain data just to to see that you if you know again if you know where to look. Yeah, if if you know where to look, uh, then you can basically like slice and dice this data and uh, mm -hmm. extract the the value. If you don't know where to look, you can ask ask us. Yeah. We know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So um, let's gossip about the industry a bit. Uh, yeah. So. Like, uh, I guess uh, on Friday, uh, there was a yeah. big news that Google domains uh, were bought mm -hmm. by Squarespace. Yeah. Uh, what is your reaction to this? Well, I guess uh, as the rest of other people, I was uh, I, I surprised a little bit <laughs> um, and like, or, or shocked. I don't know, because that was like, um, they didn't announce it before and that was pretty unexpected. Yeah. But it seems like a pretty huge deal and it, it's good for the square space. Um, so that's that's something really, really, really interesting. I have some <clears throat> numbers just in front of me. I, I've put it down just before this, mm -hmm. um, this session. So Google Domains currently has about 10 million domains under management. And over half of those are .coms, uh, yeah. making Google the number five registrar by .com domains under management. So it seems that they are like a pretty big competitor to the other registrars in this field. Yeah. And it seems to be a very good deal for the Squarespace because mm -hmm. obviously they would have an opportunity to cross sell website packages to existing Google domains right. customers. Yeah, website and, builders. Yeah. yeah, website builders, that is like their main Their main idea. things, yeah. And another thing is that, uh, again, just from the articles, I know that Squarespace will be able to be uh, so they will be an exclusive registrar for Google, uh, for domains purchased with Google Workspace for the next three years mm -hmm. uh, when those subscriptions are purchased directly from Google. So uh, good for the Squarespace. Yep, uh, it's that's... definitely a winner in this situation. And I imagine that is uh, that these new, this news is also great for the other registries because they just get rid of a very big competitor that was taking a lot of the potential of their potential customers. So that's, yeah. that's my view on that on that deal. They're very, uh, um, yeah. Yeah, but it, it seems uh, it seems like Squarespace uh, is stepping up in this yeah. game. Well, just 
Like it's an, I won't say enormous, but it's a pretty big leap forward. Uh, so course. yeah, good for them. Uh, as far as I know, like some people are concerned about this because mm -hmm. the whole, because of the whole transfer thing, uh, you know, because it's a huge migration. Ten million domains is a huge, pretty huge deal to to yeah. migrate from one service to, uh, service provider to another mm -hmm. one. Exactly. Yeah. And also uh, Google uh, or Squarespace, they said that they will honor the prices for some uh, mm -hmm. for, for at least 12 months. Um, and then but then who knows what will happen then? That's uh, that's an interesting question that uh, uh, that's why some people are concerned. But we'll see. We'll see. And uh, please, uh, those of you who are watching us right now and you have uh, something to say about this, please uh, don't be shy and feel free to, to add your comment uh, into the uh, comment section. We'll see it and uh, maybe we can discuss uh, more. If you know some more details, uh, what is your reaction? What do you think? What are repercussions might be um, for, for the industry? Please share, uh, share with us and we are moving forward. Yeah, and uh, I just want to like yeah. to, uh, sorry, Roa. I just want to come back to that, and I think that is, um, yeah. If anyone who's watching us today has any other interesting topics or latest news on the industry, that would be interesting to discuss that, and maybe that can be even uh, an idea for some of the other sessions to have like some uh, g gossip chats or whatever, yeah. like the latest news chats, uh, like just taking the recent news or updates from the industry and discussing them. I think that yeah. would be also great. Yeah. Yeah, it would be great. So please suggest your uh, ideas for uh, for the discussion. And um, I think it would be very, very interesting and useful uh, for other people as well. Uh, so um, we are talking about uh, data. And like in this uh, instance, we're talking about, for example, Squarespace and, and their, the, the case of their buy, buying Google domains. And then they will uh, ob obviously um, try to incentivize people to stay with them uh, by uh, not only stay with them, but um, build their websites uh, on using Squarespace, of course. Mm -hmm. But talking about um, data, uh, structured, structured data for industry uh, operators in general, how do, do they use it? So what are the most interesting data points for registries, for registrars, uh, maybe for resellers? Uh, how do they use it? What are use cases that you can share um, of uh, of the how 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 operators are utilizing? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so I, I would say I would start with the, uh, with that um, data is super valuable, but the data approach can be very different from one company to another. Like what works for for the for one registry might be absolutely irrelevant for the other, and uh, it works the opposite way. But if we are talking about some uh, like common pattern patterns or the most frequently used patterns, then I would say that everyone wants to know uh, everything about their customers, like to have that information at the uh, at their convenience at any point. Because, and I'm not talking right now about some customer contact details or anything like that. No, like. We are not providing that, or like, and nobody is interested even in that. What I mean by that is that, again, where the customer is coming from? Is it a healthy customer in general? Is mm -hmm. it the customer that the registry or the registrar they want to keep within their customer base? What they are actually doing with the domain name? Are they abusing it? Are they using it for any other purposes? And again, to what vertical they belong? And um, yeah, getting this granular information about the customer base to be able to better address their needs, like to sell more, like again, having in mind the commercial purposes, uh, of course, and uh, then like marketing campaigns. And uh, of course, having a health zone file that has a healthy, healthy customer base. And like the data in this case can help companies, registries, registrars, any other domain play, domain industry players, remove the blind spots by highlight, highlighting the most important uh, insights. 
And once companies have the data, they can better adjust marketing campaigns, make them more niche. They mm-hmm. can improve the customer support, can improve the renewal rates, and eventually grow. I think that's more or less everyone's goal, big goal yeah. in this game. Comparative intelligence also uh, mm-hmm. is very interesting in combination with the market research, because you cannot exist and do business in some vacuum. You yeah. you actually need someone to, to compare to, some numbers to compare to, and understand like how you're doing against others. If mm-hmm. you're growing, if you are... Uh, if you are doing bad comparing to them and just to understand how in general the market is changing that is also very important like uh, yeah so that that's uh, that and of course um, more and more I would say registers and registrars looking into the ways how they communicate with each other in a better way because mm-hmm. data eventually can help them engage with each other, this chain, like registry, register, reseller. It mm-hmm. can help them to engage in a more meaningful ways. Meaningful yeah. ways. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. I think uh, lot, there are lots of talks about uh, creating a healthy ecosystem, you know, like uh, referring to the channel, you know, like the uh, registry and registrars, resellers, and uh, communicating together, uh, finding the best ways to provide uh, services to the end user i think and the of course data is i would say is the way to how to achieve that goal you know like how to mm-hmm. constantly improve uh, the uh, the services so uh, i sure. i don't know if you can think of number one question that you receive from uh, customers from uh, like uh, if you can think of one uh, just right yeah. now you know like yeah, just uh, you're. For example, you're you're uh, in a meeting. You're presenting the product. You're speaking about the the uh, importance of data and, and so on. Uh, do you? Is there a question that everyone uh, or everybody asks? Uh, my favorite one <laughs> is like uh, it starts with the data is great and you have a lot of the mm-hmm. data, amazing. But like, how do we actually make money out of that? Yeah. Um, that's that's my favorite and i and i can have like um, and i can elaborate on that of course by showing like mm-hmm. different uh, use cases for example for the registrars that would be upsells cross sales of different products that the data can help them sell the ssl certificate at the mm-hmm. right time to the right people with the right ssl um mm-hmm. solution that is like yeah. the low handing fruit and that's the easiest thing to do the same goes with the email solutions, hosting solutions, and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Because, for example, we also provide the hosting provider. And, for example, if you are a hosting provider, right, mm-hmm. or you provide the hosting solution, then you might be interested to see, uh, or, if, for example, if you are a registrar and at the same time you provide the hosting solution, you might be, you might want to see if your customers are buying the hosting from your competitors, right? Mm-hmm. To know, like, right. Maybe this is the customer. This is the customer group that you want to address in a different way, or to approach in a different way. Or maybe this is the customer group that you want to keep an eye on, because eventually they might be, I don't know, taken away from you or something. So the data can also show that. And yeah, yeah that's the question. Like, how do we actually make money out of that? Uh, mm-hmm. Is the question that I would receive quite often. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's super interesting. Uh, you know, uh, and. Uh, Probably my two last questions is first uh, is about the recently launched uh, product from Domain Crawler. And it's connected, I guess, with the, with the data insights that you provide uh, during the meetings. But could you speak more about the, uh, the product that Domain Crawl- Crawler has recently launched? Yeah, so that is like the KYC, right? Yeah. Uh, the KYC product, um, again, it just resonates with everything that I shared before and the reason it was actually launched because we were hearing more and more demand for that and customers were asking about like more questions uh, how they can extract the information how Mm -hmm. it can be structured and everything so at the end of the day we decided to make that happen and uh, launch that product on them like know your customer 
KYC. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's basically the first and the most essential part in for the registry, register a hosting company to, to grow mm -hmm. uh, by understanding their customers better, just know who, who they are. And by the scanning those domain names, by crawling them, indexing the, 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 the data, we can provide valuable information and valuable insights on them by removing all the blind spots they have right now. Um, so that's that's the main goal of this product, and that's what it, what it is supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, and uh, fellas, if you're watching us right now and you want to know more about this uh, product, please vi visit uh, domaincrawler.com and navigate to KYC. Uh, the main insights and uh, you can learn more about this amazing product about this report that we provide to registries and registrars um, so that's something for you to think about and my last question uh, for you alona is a uh, kind of general one but what is your message to industry professionals you as a, a young <laughs> pers person young professional uh, what is your message uh, to to the whole industry that is a very general but very difficult and challenging yeah. question. <laughs> um, not thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm joking, of course. Um, I, I don't know, like, basically to be less conservative, be open to new opportunities, new things that are coming up in the industry, including the, the data opportunities, the data solutions, like you have the domain crawler, you have other companies in this industry who are doing the same thing. And we are all like perceiving one and the same goal to make the this industry and other industries better, to make an internet a better place and to make it like a, a healthier one for everyone. So just keep on doing what you do, explore, be open to the new things. So I yeah. guess that's, yeah. that's my short message. Yeah, that's a great one. Great one. Uh, thank you, Alona, for, for this uh, conversation, uh, for, for sharing you. the experience, giving us all something to think about. Uh, and thank you all who watched us live. The recording of the stream will be available on our YouTube channel. So um, please uh, subscribe. Please follow us there and uh, on other platforms uh, for more uh, content and insights about domain names, about uh, data. Uh, we hope i hope and i think alona as well uh, enjoyed uh, uh, yeah. our conversation uh, I, and I did truly yeah 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 it was a great short uh, but i think precise uh, conversation discussion robust discussion about the uh, issues and trends uh, in the industry and uh, we'll certainly have more of these conversations in future so Please uh, make sure to follow us, and not to stay to stay tuned, and uh, not to uh, miss the uh, future episodes of uh, Let's Talk Domains and Data. So yeah. thank you all. Cheers. Thank you. And Cheers. have a great day. Day, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.